the game plan them and their British masters, including Obasanjo. Obasanjo is part of the problem of Nigeria. Obasanjo belongs to the Obuni Fraternity, or should I say Grand Lodge, that is affiliated to the Freemasonry, um, 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 not Scottish Rites, the Freemasonry you have in England. Obuni. That is why in the East we don't belong to groups. Ndiyotu, we call them. We don't belong to secret societies. There is none. Forget about Okonko is a passage of right. Okonko is a passage of right. Once you, it's like a bar mitzvah. Once you have grown to the age of 13, a guy that you, Okonko, you enter Okonko, you enter Ebe, one of the fraternities. And then you form age grade from there. That's how it's done. Obasanjo, the reason why they trust him is because he is a member of Oboni Fraternity, of course, the Grand Lodge, they call them, that is affiliated to the Freemasonry. The Fraternity in England. Go and do your research. So they trust him. England can trust him. Britain trusts him because he is their loyal slave. Oboni Fraternity and Grand Lodge, they answer to to um the, the 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 freemasons of england are you following me very carefully now if were obasanjo if obasanjo were to come today to say that i don't want nigeria to exist anymore obasanjo has the same should i say clout and influence that azikiwe enjoyed prior to independence of nigeria were obasanjo today to write and say nigeria is dying we don't want it to continue anymore. They will dissolve Nigeria. Because they trust him. And some of you must know that it was Obasanjo who brought SARS to Nigeria. Some of you don't know that. It was Obasanjo that brought SARS. Special anti robbery squad. The reason why Obasanjo brought SARS into Nigeria was because in Britain then, there was a shortage of um, organs for transplant. The reason why SARS was created was ostensibly to harvest organs to send to Europe for those who are in need. Liver, kidney, pancreas, just name it. That was why Britain funded SARS. Because then in the UK, they kept complaining, we don't have much, we don't have organs here. We don't have, oh, how the waiting list, it's called a, the waiting list for people waiting for organ transplant was growing and growing and growing. It was Britain that set up SARS. Their job is to harvest organs and send abroad to sell. Obasanjo was the one that made it possible. There are some things that you people don't know about these. Some things, you know, when I look at that's why I want to look at an average ignorant Nigerian with his degrees. Or should I say degrees in idiocy? I feel sorry for you. You know nothing. Who brought SARS into Nigeria? Special anti robbery squad. Who brought it into Nigeria? Why is it that every year they kill, they harvest organs, and they move? The same thing that they're doing at Iboko police station in a in, in a Boeing state. So Idoko, Idoko is called Idoko police station in a Boeing state. Why didn't the police come and arrest somebody and take them away and nothing will happen? They took our women to court. Was it two days ago? Did you see it in any paper anywhere? Did any Nigerian newspaper or even NTA or anybody go to report? That thing we've been saying that they kidnapped our women and we are raping them. Two days ago, they brought them to court. Did anybody go to court to find out if what we've been saying is real or not? But they came to court and they were granted bail. Black people, you people are something else in this UG. No wonder in anywhere in the world you see black people, they are the lowest of the low. You know, for very many years I kept asking God, but why? 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 Elohim said to me, One day you'll find out. And I found out myself that the wickedness of a black man is second to none in the animal kingdom. The most wicked race on earth is we black people. Very wicked and without conscience. We, we are lamenting and complaining about our women who were being raped. Some of you said it's a lie. But they took them to court two days ago. The same women they took them to court two days ago. Federal High Court in Abuja. Oh, sorry. It's a Wusei Zone 2 or whatever rubbish it's called. They gave them bail. They came to court in chains. Amnesty International is aware. They never wrote any report. Human Rights Watch, they are aware. They never wrote any report. 
All the newspapers we contacted, all of them, they never came to court. Even to do their job is very difficult. That is why Elohim is punishing all of you with Fulani, killers, and murderers. Because your wickedness is too much. Your wickedness and hypocrisy is too much. Fulani brought in their people from across the Sahel, put them in our land and equipping them. When we told you, you said, no, it's a lie. It's propaganda. It's incendiary. Look at NBC saying they will <laughs> cockroaches saying they will, they will block Radio Biafra. If people who are sensible were not able to do that. It is a bunch of corrupt idiots in Abuja. They said it's incendiary. He's a, he's a whipping up ethnic sentiment. But your presidency, Garaba Shehu, has just confirmed what I've been saying for years. That the Nigerian army have been supplying Fulani terrorists for some time now. That is why in Zamfara, there is a no-fly zone. Before you bring arms to terrorists with a helicopter, there must be a heavy-duty aircraft that must have brought it in the first place where the helicopter got those equipments from. So who brought those arms into Nigeria? Who contracted or who hired a helicopter to be flying them to... How come they don't even know where they are? Yet they come to Olu to bomb Olu. And some Fulefus are busy hailing, hailing people coming to kill. Oh dear me. Sometimes I don't... I feel like not preaching to be honest with you. I say let the will of the Almighty be done because we are, we are honestly speaking uh, something is wrong with us something is wrong with us it's very very terrible indeed the helicopters are everywhere Garaba Shehu told BBC Hausa that a no-fly zone was imposed on Zafra because of reports that jets, jets are used to ferry arms to bandits so bandits you claim they are hungry they are not kidding how come they negotiated arms deal all over the world they hired an aircraft to come and drop the weapons for them and all of you say we nigerians tomorrow morning i hear them we nigerians we are in nigeria together the unity of our country and the patriots <laughs> anyway whom the gods want to destroy they first make them mad <laughs> nigerians are mad and that is why foreign people are in your forest killing you people are so hopeless so idiotic so foolish uh, I, don't, uh, I don't know what Luga did to some of you to did to the brains of your parents because um i pity i don't uh, to, honestly speaking once you're in nigeria i don't see i don't see you as a human being i am being honest with you i do not see you as a human being and that is why i commend those soldiers who are leaving the zoo how can you see sometimes i wonder how can you come from the middle belt and you're in the army from the east, you are you are in the army. From the west, you are in the army. The same army that instead of getting these bandits they brought from Sierra Leone, from Mali, from all these places to go and fight Boko Haram, they use you to go and fight Boko Haram. And after fighting them, the same Nigeria you claim you are serving, some of their idiots like Sheikh Gumi, or should I say our Baka Gumi? Not she's not a Sheikh. Only only an Arab man can be a Sheikh. Abu Bakr Gumi will come out and say, um, my dear brothers, my dear bandit brothers, uh, people you should be upset with is the Christian soldiers killing you with Nigerian army uniform. These are people serving uh, supposedly their nation. Somebody endorsed by the presidency because Lai Mohammed said that he is in support of what Sheikh Gumi is saying. So that means that Lai Mohammed is in support of Sheikh Gumi I keep calling him Sheikh. Yes. That dirty, filthy looking thing. The, what Lai Muhammad said is that I support what Abu Bakr Gumi is doing with the bandits. Which means that the federal government of Nigeria is in support of uh, Abu Bakr Gumi, in, in the new minister for, for banditry and kidnapping. And this same representative of Nigerian government said that it is Christian soldiers killing Muslims. And you are still wearing the army uniform of Nigeria. And you are fighting who? Who are you fighting? Why can't all of you leave tomorrow morning? What are you doing there? That is the reason I keep castigating black people. Are you that foolish that you cannot reason? You are in, in, in Sambisa first fighting. 
your village, your ancestral forest is being occupied by the same people they claim that you're fighting. Are you normal? Is your brain okay at all? Everybody must leave the army and the police. If you stay there, you will die. Especially those in Biafra land, you will die. God knows you will die. I'm telling you the truth. You will, uh, uh, I said it before. You will kill us. Many years you will kill us. Then after that, we will kill you. And then shortly after that, Biafra will come. I've been saying it from day one. They will kill us. We will kill them. In the end, Biafra will come. Without apologies, no idiot. I'm not apologizing. Remember when they used to kill us? It will, will come and be writing a long gram. I, I, of course, myself, one of them. We are placing the world on notice for many years. After a while, when you write, they just throw it away. Is it not that IPOB, that uh, toothless bulldog, they just throw it away? And we kept, you know, we went into prayer and fasting. And we kept saying to the dead, please avenge your death. We pray to Elohim. Of course, you cannot pray to the spirit of the dead. It's not good. It's idolatry. Uh, we, we kept saying to Elohim, avenge you. You are a God of vengeance. Avenge your children. Fight our battles for us. Uh, we, we, as we were praying and fasting and asking God to fight our battles, from now we are unknown gunmen, Kemo. We don't know who they are. Like as if they are angels from heaven. And they are not fighting our battles for us. You see, all those policemen and women and army that killed our people, we don't know where these angels came from. They are called unknown gunmen. Eh? They are doing a very marvelous job now, avenging the death of their people. They want the police and the army to understand when you lose somebody, how painful it is. Because if you leave them, they will massacre everybody. They will kill. They have no soul. Nigeria army, Nigeria police, they have no soul. These are full and they are led by full and that they have no soul. They are evil to the core, to the bone marrow. You know, he's a miracle walking God. I don't know where he sent the unknown government. I don't know. The, the, uh, people name them unknown government. That, that's how we know them by. And uh, believe me, they're doing a very marvelous job. And I will pray more, I will fast more for many more to come. These people, they will go to any, they slaughter you with a right letter. <laughs> they will, in fact, once the letter comes, they put it in the, in the dustbin. We said, okay, is that how it's done? Okay. We went, we went into prayer and fasting. We kept praying until, should I say, God answered our prayers with a non gone man. We don't know who they are, but I believe they are angels from heaven. They are the armies of heaven. And they are now the ones avenging for us. So all those police stations that they used to torture people and kill people and harvest their organs, uh, please, uh, unknown gunmen, find them all. Look for them and find them. Find all those police stations. If you know you are a police officer, you were involved in organ harvesting, people were disappearing. Oh, things have happened though. People just disappear. Parents will know where the children are. You hear mothers lamenting as they are dying. They are saying, oh, we are these Chibuzo, mom. Gave a Chibuzo, mom. Have you seen Chibuzo? You don't know that SARS have killed Chibuzo. The woman will be lamenting until she passes from unconsciousness into, into death. Thinking about the son. Sometimes the only son. Killed by the police. And now God answered uh, the prayers of people. I don't, I don't know where this unknown government, I don't know where they are from. But at least if they are keeping the police busy, the police will have to be killing innocent people. Arresting them. The water, they go, they arrest innocent people. They, hey, oh, Nigeria shouldn't exist. I hate Nigeria with a passion. Shouldn't exist, honestly speaking. Only a fool will support one zoo. Damnable zoological republic. Soldiers are living and they are taking them to court. The Nigerian army has ordered the immediate arrest of officers accused of deserting their post. Can you imagine such, such rubbish? You go behind the back, you keep Boko Haram to fight people. Uh, uh, when people who have now discovered, suddenly they have now discovered that they have been the fool for years. They have left your useless army. They are saying, go and arrest them. They, they, I, I don't thought, God. Uh, oh my goodness. Zoo. Zoological Republic. <laughs>